What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Auto 3 Garage. And as you can see, we are going over the road trip car prep checklist. The most important things you will need before you go on a long road trip or anywhere uh, that suits your interest. And I want to inform you on what you will need uh, based off my experience. And let's get into it. Make sure to sub in and like. Really appreciate it. So the most important thing you want to do is check your fluids on your cars. Rather, it's oil, coolant, washer blade fluid, including your belts. Make sure everything is at the correct level uh, so your car can be happy uh, going down the road. You want to keep your car cool and you want to keep them gears and stuff oiled up and lubricated. Also, check your tires. Make sure you don't have no nails or any tire going flat or any gashes or anything of that nature. Um, also, just... Keep it on you all the time. Also, keep a spare tire along with a, a pump, too. I didn't mention that, but keep a pump. Uh, having a spare tire could save, you know, you time and money and instead of waiting for somebody. Also, keep a jack stand on me. So keep a jack stand on you if you don't have no factory jack stand that came with the car. Uh, this will save your life. Trust me. Also, check your headlights. Make sure everything is functional. Uh, signal lights, uh, high beam, low beam. Same with the tail lights. Make sure um, all your lights working, turn signals, etc. of that nature. Also, you could keep uh, kits on you, uh, such as jumper cables, um, jumper starters. Little A little kit like this will help you and uh, can save you some time. Also, most importantly, keep a first aid kit. You never know when you will need it. It's very important. Also, keep a charger on you because you never know when you will go somewhere stranded or you don't have nowhere to charge up your phone. Please keep your phone charged. Also, you might want to keep a map just in case your phone do die so you can uh, navigate around. Also, keep a map on your mobile phone, mobile device, so it can help you. And most importantly, Keep snacks on you. Um, you never know if you never go across any place anytime soon, depending on where you're going at. But I can uh, testify uh, to keeping a jack stand on you. Recently, uh, when I had went to Atlanta, I was carrying a trailer, and out of nowhere, my pen had just disappeared, and my whole trailer just slung out. Luckily, I had the safety chains on there where. I was able, you know, to continue to drag the trailer. Good thing I brought the jack because it helped me jack up the trailer and helped me reposition uh, the trailer back on the receiver hitch. Um, having an extra spare tire is very important. I remember I was uh, towing uh, a friend's car and we had two blowouts on the interstate, which is crazy. And mind you, we did not have no jack stand and we ain't had no extra spare tires so that had like you know helped me prevent that to happen uh in the future which it has done when i had one in london just to bring a jack stand make sure i have extra spare tires and all that because you never know when you will need it um i got many other stories but uh stay tuned for that also if you want to see things of of my Porsche 944 or my Mercedes W210 or my Chevy Tahoe, please stay tuned and make sure to sub in and like. Really appreciate it. With Tahoe, we will be taking apart. Um, So stay tuned for that. Really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing more videos like this, informative videos on what you will need for long road trips. And if I'm missing something, go in the comments below. But based off my experience, this is what you will need because you will never know. Um, also, one more thing. When I had to go all the way to Rock Hill, South Carolina, near Charlotte, uh, along the border of uh, North Carolina, South Carolina. But anyway, I did not have no charger. And mind you, these gas station chargers cost nearly $22. Who's going to spend $22 just for a charger? So... I made a mistake not having a charger, so I had to end up buying a charger. But if I ain't had my phone charged up, how would I know how to get back home? That's why it's important to keep a map and all that so you can navigate your way back. Because that's what they used to do 
uh, back in the day, m- mind you, uh, be around old folks and stuff, and they tell me and all that. So use your experience to your advantage and trust and believe you will accede. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. All right, y'all have a good day. Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. Stay tuned for more informative uh, videos. Really appreciate it if you stay tuned this far. Thank you.